Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. This from XRP Researcher, who would have ever thought that as we approach $1 trillion in market cap that XRP would be sitting at 22 cents? I know. It's kind of disheartening, well, kind of disheartening to say the least, very disheartening considering the rest of the crypto market is rallying. Of course, XRP sitting down here at about 23 cents at least now, uh, down 2.46% uh, on the day while the rest of the crypto market is up. Look at the market cap up here, market cap at 949.8 trillion. Bitcoin dominance still hovering in that 68. Uh, we haven't seen Bitcoin dominance move too much. The rest of the altcoin market has been rallying along with Bitcoin, which is um, something that we haven't necessarily uh, seen happen in the past. Usually Bitcoin rallies, money gets pushed into altcoins, and then we have uh, significant altcoin seasons that we can definitely identify on a chart clearly. But in this case, it's looking like the entire crypto market is rallying, and uh, right now Stellar has actually surpassed XRP in price trading right now at 0.316 up 81.74 now it's at 82.16 percent in the last 24 hours so what does this mean for XRP guys will XRP rally will it catch up is there any saving grace considering that uh you know this news that we've uh, been seeing and there's more news now more negative news coming out that could affect uh the price uh for it to go lower to the downside so what is going on in the space right now well apparently Tetra Gone is now seeking to sue Ripple. This is Ripple's uh, Series C lead investor, uh, and this brought to us by Ian Northing here. So Ripple is facing yet another lawsuit, this time from one of its investors, uh, Tetragon Financial Group, the lead investor of Ripple's $200 million Series C, has sued the company after the recent complaint by the SEC Securities and Exchange Commission. According to a report by Bloomberg, uh, Tetragon filed its complaint on Monday in Delaware Chancery Court, seeking to enforce its contractual right to require Ripple Ripple to redeem Series C preferred stock per the report. Uh, Tetragon also wanted uh, also wants to block Ripple from using any cash or other liquid assets until the payment is made. The company has asked the court for a temporary restraining order, a preliminary injunction, and an expedited trial. Interesting to say the least. Uh, and did you guys hear Ripple's response? This is from Jordan Henry. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Ripple's statement on yesterday's Tetragon filing. In Ripple's Series C investment agreement, there is a provision that if XRP is deemed to be a security on a go-forward basis, then Tetragon has the option of having Ripple redeem their Ripple equity. Since there has been no such determination, this lawsuit has no merit. We are disappointed that Tetragon is seeking to unfairly take advantage of the lack of regulatory clarity here in the U.S. The courts will provide this clarity and we are very confident in our position. So, uh, more negative news on the surface. This is Ripple's response to the Tetragon filing and I noticed something very interesting with regards to this. Let me point this out to you. It's this provision here that if XRP is deemed to be a security, then uh, Tetragon has every right to uh, get their money back basically. And so when they originally made this deal, Ripple, in my opinion, had every bit of confidence that XRP was going to be deemed a currency, labeled a currency in the United States and, and uh, elsewhere. And so why would they have signed a deal? I mean, you know, this is big money we're talking about here, a $200 million Series C investment. And I have a feeling it was one of the biggest of the year for a blockchain company. If Ripple sincerely didn't think XRP was a currency um, and, they, and they risked losing this $200 million Series C funding round, don't you think something would have been said sooner? Just my opinion on that. Uh, more uh, evidence suggesting that XRP is indeed a currency and not a security. Uh, but I'm just focusing on the negative because we're we're going to talk about the decline in price of uh, XRP. Let me bring up XRP right now real quick. Uh, we've got XRP trading right now at 22.7. Uh, just basing in this level, okay, we haven't seen much action for XRP uh, considering, you know, the rest of the market is rallying. This is Bitcoin on the 30 minute. Uh, I have it here on the 30 minute just to break it down a little. We saw Bitcoin rise uh, to a new high of $35,883. Uh, right now coming back down uh, closer to the all time high that it just recently broke. But anyway, the negative news and the reason I want to focus on the negative news I think will become clearer in a second. Uh, so this more negative news for me in Northing, Ripple co-founder Jed McCaleb sold $400 million worth of XRP in 2020. Uh, this isn't so much negative as it is just a um, as a fact. I suppose Jed McCaleb has sold a whopping $411 million in XRP in 2020. According to an updated report from Block Analytics account Whale Alert, McCaleb sold 1.2 billion XRP throughout the year in an average price of $0.34 cents per 
coin. This sum reportedly represents 27% of McCaleb's XRP stash that is held in a settlement account with Ripple Labs uh, and marks a sharp acceleration of his sales to date. He sold roughly 1 billion XRP in his five years between 2014 and 2019. So just stating a fact, of course, Cointelegraph uh, is just reporting on this. Uh, reporting on this as we're seeing XRP price being suppressed because of the SEC lawsuit. Uh, and again, guys, news and market sentiment go hand in hand. Let's keep up with the negative sentiment for now. This is going to get better in a sec, guys. I just wanted to make that note. This from Dave of the Day, XRP removed by Grayscale. So XRP was removed following a DLC funds quarterly review. No other assets qualified for inclusion. Uh, and so this is the tweet from Grayscale. So uh, they have finally come out and said that they are removing XRP. There was some wishy-washy uh, statements being made, some, um, some false news, I suppose. Uh, in the space, Grayscale was delisting, Grayscale wasn't removing, or sorry, removing, they were removing, they weren't removing, we didn't quite know until now, now it is official, 22 hours ago, XRP was removed following DLC Funds Quarterly Review. So, more negative news in the space, obviously bringing investor sentiment down. Why is it important that all you guys are feeling negative about XRP right now? Think about it for a second. Price is suppressed. We're in a bull rally. This is an anomaly. We are not seeing any other coin doing this. But we have to remember the fundamentals of XRP have not changed one bit. The company is still moving forward. Partnerships are still being forged. Ripple is still partnered with a multitude of central banks around the world. Financial institutions, uh, they have deep connections to the IMF, the BIS, the World Economic Forum. Let's not forget, Ripple is friendly with every other country, or mostly every other country around the world. There is no problem with using XRP around the world. It's only in the United States. Okay, let me remind you guys, only in the United States, and the United States is just one piece of the global puzzle. Albeit it's an important piece, but just one piece still. And so we're hearing of our other favorite coins soaring, uh, as I'd mentioned before, this from the Cryptic Poet. Vet makes a new all-time high. Uh, and you know, I don't know if you guys are holding any other coins right now. I personally do hold some VeChain. It has uh, surpassed three cents per VET. Uh, so right now trading at 0 0.029, so just shy of three cents. It went up as high as 0 0.0306. So, uh, you know, other coins in the space, and, and we can even just see it here from CoinMarketCap, right? The rest of the crypto market is surging. XRP is left behind. This obviously making uh, XRP investors feeling kind of bummed out, especially if you did not diversify. And this is uh, partially why I own BTC. Uh, full disclosure, my entire cryptocurrency portfolio as a whole, even though uh, the majority of my crypto is in XRP, my crypto portfolio as a whole is up. Okay. It's not up nearly as much as I'd like it to be, but it is up. And so, uh, I mean, you know, it's bittersweet, right? I should be happy that I'm into money, but <laughs> of course, XRP um, suffering because of uh, everything that's going on. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are bummed out. Uh, just like me, I'm bummed out too, guys. I know I tend not to sound like it on my channel, but uh, yeah, I'm bummed out too. This is this sucks. This is terrible. Um, but there is a silver lining. Let me just get to this tweet thread here, just uh, giving you a sense of some of the sentiment going on in the space. This is from Tipsy Tiger, and uh, I think this is probably how a lot of people are feeling. Going to be honest, feeling really down tonight. I've lost 70,000 pounds from this SEC stuff, to be clear. That hurts, but it's more to do with the three-year loss researching it. The fact I consider myself intelligent and financially savvy. As many as you know, I am an FCAAP with uh, controlling functions and have owned an FCA regulated business for over a decade and have been in the financial and insurance markets for over 24 to 25 years now. To feel like I have missed the mark so incredibly badly is a gut-sickening feeling. I'm seriously sickened by this. I still think Ripple's tech is incredibly powerful, but either the timing is off or something else is wrong. How can it be that Ripple's vision for years comes to fruition just a couple of weeks after the SEC action? It makes no sense to me at all. And uh, this is part of what I want to get at here. This guy here, Tipsy Tiger, has been in the business for 25 years, and he, he made this bet on XRP. He did his research, as we've all been doing, and yet it feels like we're being dealt a bad hand for no fault of our own. 
Why hasn't the digital asset space circled the wagons to protect not just uh, Ripple, but the whole effing space from this action? Do they not understand that if the SEC wins this case, it's game over for a massive amount of great projects out there? And so, yeah, you know, this the, <laughs> Ripple is just the example. XRP is just the example here. If this goes south, all you're going to see a sea of red here. So uh, you guys better take some profits while you can if you are in other altcoins right now uh, with no clarity. I'm going to continue on here. Here. He goes on to say, where are the blockchain associations? Where are the exchanges? Where are the other projects in this space? Uh, that that self-blinkered that is prepared to cannibalize itself is no one other than Uphold going to stand up with what is right. We all have internal clashes, but that should cease when the action hits. Uh, you have an action filed by a regulator who is jostling for control to regulate the space, period. I've spent 48 hours trawling through the SEC's website and no one is safe. So just make note of that, guys. If you are in another uh, altcoin that has no clarity, no one is safe. The SEC received communications way before 2018, but in 2018, no less than 24 communications were sent to them on their website from people who owned XRP specifically, begging to seek clarification from the SEC on what they owned. The FCA in the UK gave clear guidelines on digital assets, XRP being a hybrid utility slash exchange digital asset for those who don't uh, know the City of London is a money hub for the entire world. So the FCA's pragmatic approach, I thought, would follow through to the US, seeing as Ripple is in the US, clearly it did not. There is an asset that can transfer value from one currency to another virtually free and help billions of people keep more of their money. What the absolute F is wrong with people in power in the US? Let's use BTC. ETH I've seen in uh, SEC documents. You were warned about BTC transaction fees and pooling in 2016 and again in 2018. You were warned about mining pools numerous times. This is about financial institutions building out financial products on this and uh, you have the US SEC power players have bought it. It's an effing disgrace. You should all be ashamed. You had a chance to build the jet engine when people were jumping off effing cliffs, flapping their arms to fly. Wow. Uh, taking a very important point to task with the SEC, I do not and never did give a crap about Brad Garlinghouse or Chris Larson's owner of XRP sales. Most, if not all of us, knew they owned XRP and would sail it at their leisure. Uh, it's their XRP to sail. Of course, uh, some may disagree with that. The captains of the ship, in my opinion, uh, should be responsible with the XRP that they hold, especially if uh, you know other people are holding it as an investment. The SEC has and is putting other token holders at risk by this suit. How many projects ran off the back of Ripple, used a similar business model with or without use case? All those DA holders are at risk. Millions Millions of people, nice SEC news, you did a stand up job. So this from a guy who's worked 25 years in the financial system uh, in the UK, and uh, this is what he thinks about this. You know, we've done our due diligence, we have uh, done all the right things, and yet we are getting punished, and it feels very unfair, you know, to me, and I'm sure to a lot of you guys too. XRP Monkey saying down here, honestly, me too, I'm not going to lie, uh, that SEC news really threw me for a loop. I lost more than $70,000 and influenced me to panic and engage in some really dumb trades and lost some more money. I feel the same uh, where I followed this so closely that it felt so true, it really kills me. Guys, chin up, don't worry. Uh, I gotta thank Tipsy Tiger for posting this thread. Uh, it is a great thread if you guys wanna get in on the discussion, I will link it down in the description of this video. But I wanna get back to this because this is a lot of negative news right now. Uh, while the rest of the crypto market is rallying, everything it seems, all this crap is being dumped on Ripple and XRP. We've got the Tetragon lawsuit. We've got, uh, you know, th th this statement from Cointelegraph just stating, you know, Jed has sold this much in 2020, which is just kind of, uh, huh, 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 you know, uh, Dave of the Day uh, posting this, that Grayscale is removing XRP. And, you know, in, in isolation, these are all just, um, you know, individual pieces to the puzzle. But what this builds is investor confidence declining and price is reflecting that. Of course, this is the XRP chart on the daily. While the rest of the market is booming, XRP is going down. Now, how is this a blessing in disguise? And why do I think this is the final straw? Well, guys, I don't know if you caught blockchain backers video yesterday. Signs the bottom is in. I'm going to link it up here in the top right-hand corner for you guys. Uh, and I'm also going to link it down in the description of the video. He demonstrates this crashing pattern and I urge you guys to watch this video if you're interested in the charts, if you're interested in the technical analysis. And what he's suggesting is that we are also seeing this same pattern happening right now on the XRP chart. So after this rally here, which we saw back in uh, November, we see the first move down, that would be the one, 
Move back up, that would be the two phase. Uh, another move back down, the three going below this section here. He demonstrates this all in his video, guys, so I urge you to watch it. Uh, then we've got one, two, three, four move up here. Okay, back up here, not quite hitting this new high. And then an Elliott Wave five phase down. Okay, so we've got the one, two, three, four, five phase down all the way to the bottom, which was roughly, uh, in this case, XRP hit a low of uh, 17 cents. So that is the entire fifth move here, that Elliott Wave 5 move structure. Then six would be curving back up into this level here, which is where we're currently at. But this is a seven move structure, guys. And so uh, he, he's predicting that this seventh move is going to actually go lower. Seventh move coming right back down. And the reason I think this is significant is because we're, we're piling into this seventh move here. And all this negative news is still coming out, okay? Grayscale removing XRP, you know, Jed McCaleb, uh, the SEC lawsuit, obviously. Uh, now Tetragon is filing a lawsuit. So we could theoretically see more declines for XRP. It's all coming together. It's all making sense. But the good news, guys, is that after these crashes have happened, we tend to see a rally to the upside. So 17 cents being the bottom of that. Will we see a rally moving to the upside? Think about it one more time. Nothing has changed for Ripple the company and nothing has changed fundamentally about XRP the token. All the research we've done uh, still stays true, okay? A lot of banks, a lot of financial institutions around the world want to use XRP. It's just in the United States that we're seeing this uh, tumultuous time right now. And so fundamentally, it's hires up that just want to throw a wrench into the plan one last time. Uh, finally, I just wanted to bring you this from Magic Poop Cannon. According to the SEC, XRP is a security because Ripple used money from XRP sales to fund its business ventures, which is a fact. That same case can be made for practically every altcoin company in existence, and it probably will. This is way bigger than the SEC versus Ripple, and this is why I keep saying Ripple was used as an example in this case. Price is depressed right now because the SEC pretends particularly singled out Ripple. And after watching Blockchain Backer's video uh, demonstrating this crash cycle, which again, guys, I urge you to watch, it all makes sense. News is coinciding. We could see 17 cents yet again. And ultimately, at the end of the day, what that means, one last time to accumulate a massive stash, not financial advice, by the way, but I think I personally am going to accumulate more if it does go below 20 cents. That's just my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.